Today we're going to look at how to remove all those bloated pre-installed applications that come with Windows 11. Ones like say Cortana, Game Bar, Phone Link and the Xbox stuff. As you can see here in this list of installed apps, there are certain apps like for instance Cortana, just can't uninstall them. The same like I say with Game Bar. If I go into Game Bar then, yep, in uninstall is grayed out. Now uninstalling these apps will not only save you space but it may speed up your PC a little bit because some of these apps will continually run in the background or run periodically in the background taking up precious processing power and precious RAM. Also it could reduce the number of crashes on your computer because basically the less you've got installed, the less things there are to go wrong. So this guide is going to show you a quick and easy way of removing all those apps that you've not been able to remove before. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So this video is going to show you a quick and easy way on how to uninstall these apps where the uninstall is just simply grayed out. These apps are mainly Microsoft apps that are pre-installed with Windows 11. Of course, Microsoft don't want you to get rid of them, but if you don't use them, why bother having them on the system? They're taking up space and in some cases can be taking up RAM and processing power. And as I say, can reduce the number of crashes because as I always say, the less you've got on your computer, the less there is to go wrong. So what we need to do first of all is we need to go to our web browser. So let's open up Microsoft Edge and then we need to go to the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search the web bar there. We need to go right to the address bar at the top of the screen. Delete out if there's anything in there, delete it all out and then just type in there ccleaner.com forward slash ccleaner forward slash builds just as it's shown on the screen there if you need to pause this video write this down and once you've typed it in then just press enter or return on your keyboard and if you've typed in the correct address then hopefully you should see this page here reject the privacy notice let's just click reject then scroll down to the bottom of the screen there and you're looking for CCleaner Portable Zip File No Installer. Click on the green download button below Zip File No Installer and that's a left click. It's now downloading, hopefully shouldn't take too long. It's not a massive file, but once it's downloaded, what we need to do is we just need to close down Edge. So just wait for that blue bar to go to the end of the screen. And then after it's gone to the end, it may pause for a bit because there's a little bit of scanning that needs to go on by the system just to make sure that everything's OK. But once you see those figures disappear underneath or it says open file then we're ready to go. So let's close down Edge just by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. That's a left click, then open up any yellow folder on our system and then we're looking for downloads so move your mouse over downloads that's either on the left there or up the top doesn't matter which one you go into left click once and then you're looking for this file here cc setup and then it have a set of numbers after it now mine says 617 your yours may say a different number depending on when you've watching this guide but that's the current version number so once you see cc setup move your mouse over it click on the right mouse button that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse not the left and then you'll get this sub menu come up and then go down to extract all and left click and then click on extract just at the bottom of the box that's appeared and let this bar go all the way up to the top and then disappear and there we go once it's disappeared we need to double left click on ccleaner 64. The screen may darken and you may see do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well make sure it says ccleaner below that and make sure that the verified publisher is Piriform Software Limited. Then move your mouse over yes left click once. Now nothing may happen for a, a, a few seconds but just be patient with it. Hopefully after a few seconds you should get a C cleaner box appear just like this. Once you see this click on tools just down there the 
spanner just on the left hand side that's a left click and then click on uninstall up the top there and we should get a list of apps to be uninstalled and we've got Cortana in there we've got game bar we've got a few other apps that we can't normally uninstall so let's click on Cortana and then click on uninstall and if we're sure we want to uninstall Cortana click on OK leave it for about 30 seconds to a minute if the uh, downloads folder overlays the screen then just click on the cross just up there in the top right hand corner and click on the other cross just to get rid of that window that's if it does overlay it and then what we want to do is just we just need to refresh this page here so to do that the best thing to do is just click on software updater just below uninstall and then click on uninstall again and that will refresh and hopefully now Cortana has gone. Another app we can't uninstall is Game Bar. So I just click on the three dots just to the right of it. Yet yeah, uninstall is greyed out. Now, if you don't play games on your computer, then there's no real point in having that. So let's get rid of that. Let's go back to CCleaner, click on Game Bar, click on uninstall, click on OK if you're sure you want to remove it and uh, let it remove. Obviously, if there are any other apps in here that you don't use, then feel free to go through and delete those two in the same method. So once again, if we want to just update the page, then click on software updater below uninstall and then click on uninstall. These are left clicks, by the way. And let's have a look yet. Yeah, game bar has gone. So another thing that we want to get rid of if we don't link our mobile phone to our computer is phone link. Now, phone link only works on Android phone. So if you've got an Apple phone, then no, you're not going to use it, are you? So click on phone link, click on uninstall, click on OK if you're sure you want to get rid of it. And phone link can take a while to uninstall so you might find if you go to software updater and then back to uninstall again you might find that it's still there no mine's actually gone but earlier i tried uninstalling it on another pc and it was there for quite a while i had to leave it for a good couple of minutes before i went to software update and back to uninstall again so <clears throat> other things i want to get rid of are the xbox stuff I don't I don't use it. I don't use Xbox on my PC. So again, I'll click on Xbox there, click on uninstall, click on OK. In actual fact, the Xbox, the green Xbox there, you can uninstall from the uh, the apps anyway. But let's just do it from here. Just a bit easier. Go to Xbox Game Bar, click on uninstall and then OK. Click on Xbox Game Speech window, uninstall. OK and click on Xbox Live, the black Xbox logo there, uninstall and then OK. And then let's just go to software updater there and then back to uninstall again and just see whether those are still there. No, nope, they've gone. And if you want to check whether or not they've gone, then what we can do is we can click on the start button there, click on settings and then let's just go into apps on the left hand side when that appears just there and then click on installed apps up the top and let's just have a look through see what's there Cortana that's disappeared phone link has that disappeared yep that's disappeared and all the Xbox stuff that's all gone too and so has game bar and I've also noticed we've got this Microsoft game input as well let's just have a look click on the three dots yeah yeah I can uninstall that from there so let's click on uninstall there and un uninstall again and then click yes to that and that should hopefully uninstall Microsoft game input so there are some other apps on here which are not listed in either of those places, either here or the apps folder or the apps menu, should I say, that I've just been into. If I click on the start button, you might see some icons in here, like for instance, Spotify. That wasn't in either of those other places. So go into the uh, start button like I've just done, click on the right mouse button and then click uninstall and then click uninstall again to get rid of that. Same with WhatsApp, that's not on there. So click right click, uninstall, uninstall. So Microsoft Chip, uh, Clip Champ, that's not there either. So right click, left click, uninstall, left click, uninstall. 
uh, LinkedIn again, right click, left click uninstall and left click uninstall. And there you go. That's got rid of that. And you can, if you want to, you can click on all apps up the top there in the top right of the start menu bar. Have a look through that. And if there's any other things that you don't use, you know, you don't use, then again, you can right click on any of those and see if you've got an uninstall, left click uninstall and then uninstall again and that will get rid of them. And like I say, if there's stuff in there that you can see that haven't got an uninstall, then you can always go back to CCleaner and uninstall it from there. Now, if you wanna remove CCleaner from your system, and it's probably a good idea to, to keep uh, the space down, because you can always download it again, go into any yellow folder on your computer, go into downloads, and you'll probably find that you've got two CC setup files in there. Delete them both. So left click once on one of the folders and then click on the bin up the top there. Click on the next one once and then click on the bin up the top there. And then let's just close this window down. Go up to recycle bin just up there, double left click, and you can either right click on each of the files in there and then click on the bin or, and then click yes, sorry, or you can click on the bin just up there and empty the whole recycle bin if there's nothing in there that you want to delete and then click yes. So there you go. That is a great little guide that shows you how to uninstall some of the bloated pre-installed apps that come with Windows 11 that Microsoft really want you to try out but like I say, they do take up space on the system, sometimes only a little bit, but also they can take up processing power and RAM if they're running in the background. I hope you like this video. And if you did, please consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel. Or if you're looking for a VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire Stick accessories, or looking for other technical things from Amazon, then have a look in the description of this video. I've got some great links with some great deals for you, which also includes my Amazon shop too. Donating or buying through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. Also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.